water is our most precious resource. Denver Water has teamed up with the Denver Zoo to bring a unique direct education experience to high school classrooms. The Water and Sustainability Program. Everything is connected as we use the water. If we don't start saving water, there will definitely be a time where we run out. We're working with Denver Water and Denver Zoo, and we're really, really trying to help the school by awareness and by activity save water and energy. We're the first school to actually go about this project, so we're kind of like the pioneers of this project. A student is a part of a big body, and journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. In this case, journey of saving $36,000 in water at Bear Creek High School starts with one student each. Denver Water's Youth Education Program strives to provide relevant and dynamic learning opportunities to inspire water stewardship. We work with the teacher, um, education staff with Denver Water, and myself as staff here at Denver Zoo. There's 1.1 million gallons of recycled water. It's hands-on learning, it's a lot of different types of activities. Hands-on practical learning opportunities are really important for any learner, um, but particularly when you're in high school. They're really in charge of designing what they want the outcome. To be. We've actually taken field trips to Denver Water Facilities and the actual Denver Zoo and seen how they run their water plants and pretty much how they function every day. We start with basic information about water. Where does their water come from? How is it relevant to them? How do they even use it? And really start to get them thinking. It helps to guide them and educate them to think of new and inventive ways to save our water and our community and our resources. Water conservation and water consumption is a big deal and it shouldn't be looked on lightly. At home I turn off my sink when I brush my teeth. I hardly take long showers now, I take short ones. We got aerators for our sinks to help save water. Now that I'm a part of this, it really impacted me and my family and how we conserve. The culmination of the program is a service learning project where they actually choose what they want to do with the information that they've learned along the way and then do something in their community, whether it's in the school or in their greater community around the school. Basically what we're doing there is we're monitoring our school's water. So we are trying to conserve it and figure out ways to reduce the flow. The old part of the school was taking up about six gallons per flush. We knew we had to get on that immediately. We got water aerators in for all the sinks in the school to help conserve water. We've already reduced our consumption of water by 16%. You're helping out your community and you're learning and taking really great things out of it on the way. So. I'll definitely recommend it. It's so amazing when you get to inspire students to a level where they really want to take action in their own worlds. The students really are empowered to apply their knowledge, be leaders, and make change real meaningful change in terms of water usage and change that they can see. The exciting part about this program is you never know where it's going to lead. The students are absolutely in charge of their learning and what they want to do for their service project. Finding a new school means we've got a whole new chapter to open up. To finally see a generation coming in that is excited and is passionate and to be part of an organization and part of a city that supports that passion and that message of the importance of this, it just, it warms my heart, <laughs> you know, it, it's, um, I love it. And I really hope that in the future they can even further our ideas and push past or even better our legacy as in what we've started here. Hey!